Hey guys, this is Keith from Divorce the Horse, and we're talking about tiny camping and off-grid living and all that stuff. And I'm here with uh, Don and Linda, who have converted a motorcycle trailer into a camper. So uh, let's interview these guys and uh, see what they have to offer and their experiences. So just to give you an idea of how big this thing is, you know, we're going to step back here. Uh, basically, this uh, particular trailer is all aluminum. It's made by America Pro and is... Um, outfitted for two motorcycles. It already comes with a vent hatch on the roof, which is very important if you're going to camp inside, because if you're in there and you're breathing and it's cold and you got it heated, you're going to build up condensation and that can lead to problems with your electronics and black mold and that sort of thing. And you definitely want to avoid that. So uh, let's see what these guys have to offer. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How long have you been doing this? Uh, it's about three years now in, in this uh converted utility trailer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And what gave you the idea to convert a motorcycle trailer into uh, a tiny camper? Uh, well, we had been traveling with a larger fifth wheel trailer and it was uh, a big hassle to be pulling it around town, setting up, taking down, and for short trips around uh, this region of the country, this works well. Awesome, awesome. So what did this unit cost you when you first purchased it? Do you? About 4000 About 4000 so not bad, not bad. Um, I see you have one of those uh, magnetic screen doors there on your uh, yeah. front door here, uh, you know, as seen on TV. Yes. How does that been, how's that been working for you guys? Oh, it works great. Uh, Yeah, I can imagine, you know, since you don't have any windows on this thing and, you know, for those of you who are going to stealth camp in like a Walmart parking lot or something like that, you don't want to put windows on stuff like this because it gives, your, uh, gives you away, you know, and uh, the whole point is to be sneaky. But it, I guess it's probably really nice to be able to just leave the door open when you're in there and get the, uh, the wind going in there. Okay, so can we uh, take a look inside and see what you've done? Sure. Excellent. Well, these are uh, the kitchen cabinets that are above the regular countertops that attach to the wall in your kitchen. Uh -huh. And because uh, they're narrower, uh, it works well in a confined space like this. So I just took those and mounted them uh, into the V and then got a couple of boards that I uh, put a countertop on top of them. And uh, it works well for uh, I put a couple shelves in there oh, and cool. I store all my uh, uh, toasters and fans and heaters. And <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. And as you guys can see, you can stand up in here, which is good. You know, if you're going to live in a place, uh, you want to be able to stand up. That's kind of why I don't like van camping. Mm -hmm. You're never able to stand up. So uh, let's take a look at the back side of your trailer here and okay. see what else you got. And another thing I did was put in fold-down shelves since I'm putting motorcycles and other things in here I didn't want obstacles in the way so uh -huh. uh, these shelves uh, nice fold it, and I have them all around so when we're camping we can use them to put our clothes on oh excellent and, uh, that sort of thing excellent what are you doing for electrical in this thing uh, I put in a, an outdoor uh, waterproof box underneath the trailer on the tongue mm -hmm. and then I brought the electrical into just a strip where we can plug in uh, lights and appliances. Oh, okay. So uh, basically it's for plugging in at campgrounds and places you can plug in? That's correct. Okay. You ever uh, going to think about putting solar power on this bad boy? Uh, I, I guess if we were going to do more extended stays, uh -huh. we probably would do that. Okay. But I also do a lot of camping with uh, I use a little gas stove, propane oh. stove. Okay, so you're cooking with that? Excellent. Um, I understand you have satellite TV on this thing. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it can't be completely disconnected. So I have a little, <laughs> little portable tailgate uh, satellite dish and, and I like the electrical. I brought it in so that I don't have to go through the door. Right. And uh, Excellent. So that just hangs here and I put the receiver up here and the TV down here and uh, we're good to go. Excellent. Hey, let's take a look at uh, where you guys sleep. Okay. Well, we put in cots. Uh, I mm -hmm. thought about fold-down uh, 
cots, uh, you know, uh, supports for uh, sleeping, but the small fold-out cots work, mm -hmm. work really well. Oh, cool. And then both of you fit in here, obviously. Yeah. 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 Which is great. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey, thanks, guys, for the, the uh, tour and the look at your setup here. Okay, you're welcome. Excellent. Thank you so very much. Okay. Oh, I put in outdoor boxes here, and uh, I have the electrical hook up here. Uh-huh. And next to it, I put the box for the satellite input. Oh, okay. And it's protected from the weather under here. Cool, cool, cool. And then you just are able to plug right in, huh? Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Just like the big boys. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Oh, and hey guys, check this out. Uh, this is the uh, license plate on the back of these guys' little trailer here. I'd rather be camping. Couldn't have said it better myself. So this is, uh, once again, Keith with Divorce the Horse. Uh, teaching you how to divorce the horses and get your bad habits out of your life. And, uh, you know, live the alternative lifestyle off the grid, camping and RV living. And uh, thanks for watching our show here. And uh, please go to our um, YouTube channel and watch more videos. Uh, there'll be links in the description below as well as... Um, to our website where there'll be articles and uh, different products that you can buy to help you take care you guys Keep on thank camping. you <laughs>